Are you one of those people who doesn't know the first thing about writing press releases? Maybe you don't even know what a press release is. <laughs> well, in today's She's in Biz episode, we are talking to LWL founding member Christina Matisic, who's going to share her secrets to getting anyone's attention with an effective press release. Hi everyone, I'm Maria Criticos, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Ladies Who Lunch Network. Uh, we like to call it LWL Life Without Limits. Uh, it's really a global network of women discovering their passion, uh, living their dream, and making a difference. I'm also the host of HangoutWithMaria.com, and I'm a certified Law of Attraction facilitator and the creator of the course Idea to Reality. So today I've asked my friend Christina Matisic and LWL LWL member Christina Matisic and friend, of course, to come hang out with me today and share her secrets to what it takes really to write an effective press release and really what you need to know uh, about writing a good one and grabbing people's attention. So, Christina, it's a pleasure to be hanging out with you today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and um, how you know me and, and maybe one of the benefits of being a member of LWL and then let's get into your first tip. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maria. Um, well, I've been in the media for over 20 years now. I started out in the newsroom and then went on and had um, my own production company, um, did a couple of TV shows that went on for many years. I've executive produced and directed and written other TV shows. And um, now I'm focusing my work on public relations and social media. And of course, that's where press releases come in handy. I've had a lot of experiences with them on both sides of the table. Um, first, in the newsroom, receiving those press releases, and then being in the television business, having my own business, and then needing to write press releases and send those out. And now I'm also doing them for other people. Um, but I've known you for a few years right now. I think we actually got in touch, or you got in touch with me over social media. So I you can't you. make friends. <laughs> Christina, you can't make friends over so social funny. media. Stalking, Sorry. I stalked you. I said I, I, so, I stalked you. The term is stalking in a good yes. way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, it was great. And then we met through one of your um, charities. It was Shop for Hope. I think that's the first time we met in person. Um, and yes, I'm a founding member of Ladies Who Lunch, and I just found it a great way to network with women. Uh, and I especially think as um, an entrepreneur, someone who runs their own business, you can kind of become insular and you know stay in your own little box in your four walls. And it's so important to get out there and meet people. And this is a fabulous organization to do just that. And I love that it's about women, about empowering women, and I'm meeting amazing women and making great connections through the organization. That's awesome. Thank you, Christina. It's such a pleasure to have you in the network. You really symbolize all of the qualities um, and the foundation of this network, uh, self-reliance, independence, integrity, passion, and of course making a difference. And you're involved in a number of different charities. Uh, maybe we'll talk about a couple of those after and the one closest to your heart. But today we are talking about Press, getting in the press, baby. Let's talk about that. Give us your first tip on uh, writing an effective press release or what really should go into one. So, Well, a press release is a really important piece of information. It's the way you convey what is going on with your company, with your business, to the media with the aim of getting free publicity which is obviously a good thing. I don't know, need to go into why that's a good thing. Um, I think the number one tip I have for writing a press release is that you really need to have a good story. And by that I mean it's, it's not a good idea to issue a press release kind of whenever, just when you feel you need you know, some, some more publicity or you want more people coming into your store. There needs to be a reason. There needs to be a good story behind that press release. Um, so a lot of common reasons for uh, issuing a press release, for example, would be um, if you want to announce a company event, um, if you have a new hire, if you're launching a new product, if um, your company or business is, again, doing something new. New is the key word in a press release. Okay. New and maybe different? <laughs> If you can be different, you know, I think that's where the trick lies in press releases and in public relations is um, finding the new 
angle you know um, for the story and how to position a story uh, how to position a business so that media uh, news media will pick it up and go hmm that's interesting that's something my audience might want to hear about and mm -hmm. so that's really the goal of the press release so, so I guess to sorry Christina I guess the obvious question is what makes a good story like what I'm sure the media gets inundated with press releases on Every day, perhaps hourly, depending on the media channel. Um, what would what like what makes a, a press release stand out? Well, I think uh, one key thing that can really help a press release is a great title or headline. And I think when you're writing your press release, you need to think overall. Think like a reporter. Um, think like a journalist. Even if you're not one, you probably I hope read the paper. Um, <laughs> yeah, you I do. <laughs> Not you, but I mean people in general. Um, yeah. So, you know, you're obviously familiar with the way news articles sound and it's important to think of it as a news article and not an editorial so an editorial is an opinion piece mm -hmm. where someone will uh, use the first person I feel this I think that you don't want to include that in a press release you want to write it like a news story and uh, an important part of that is the headline and as you say journalists and reporters get inundated with press releases and don't have a lot of time so you want to have that eye-catching title or headline and write it you know like a headline you know how they don't use all words necessarily um, but let's say you don't want to say my new store is opening on <laughs> Main Street right that's and not I a very eye-catching headline um, you might want to say <laughs> new store opens in old uh, heritage building let's Ooh. say that is something that's a little bit more eye-catching and written like a headline yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same. It's the same with email marketing. Uh, we talk about the headline of an email all the time. It's like it has to be catchy. It has to uh, make people want to open the email. So it, I guess. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And I think. Another... Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> I think another important thing uh, that you need to keep in mind about writing a press release is that especially in today's world where we get so much of our information online there is a good chance that people will publish your press release as is right. online they generally don't do it you know in, in uh, publications or obviously they're not going to be able to use it that way on television but you want to have your uh, press release print ready or publication ready so um, you need to have that title, you need to have a lead which we're going to talk about in a minute, um, you might want to include some quotes so exactly like a news story because so often I see this time and time again it goes directly onto the website they don't even contact you, you don't yeah. even know they put it up so you want to make sure it's in ship shape because they might do just that yeah absolutely absolutely let's talk about a lead Yes, a lead. Um, so if you go to journalism school, they always tell you don't bury the lead. The lead <laughs> is the opening paragraph. Yeah, don't, well, not good to bury many things, but don't bury the lead. Um, it it's is the phone if you're a dog, right? <laughs> exactly. Sure. Um, the lead is the opening sentence or paragraph and that's really where you want to have most of your information um, you know what the, the five W's who what where when and most importantly why why do I care about this why is this of interest to anybody mm -hmm. and when I uh, say don't bury the lead sometimes people will write um, something about their company more like a story and they'll start with I'm Christina and I have this business and I've been you know operating for this many years and I have 10 employees etc cetera, etc cetera. and I wanted to let you know that um, you know I'm hiring Cindy Crawford as my spokesperson I'm like <laughs> that's burying the lead that's the most exciting thing in this whole thing I don't want to okay. hear about you right you okay. want to start with the most important, the most eye-catching detail, and that's your lead. Start with the most, with the most relevant, the, mo the sauciest and juiciest detail first, because people are exactly. bored. People's attention spans are so short these days. So um, I, I see your point. Now I understand. Don't bury the lead. I had no idea what that meant. I was like, when you told me we're going to talk about not burying the lead, I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> I get it now. Very cool. Okay, good. So far, so good. So good title. Don't bury the lead. 
Exactly. Right. It like a news story, which um, we talked a little bit about. And so um, another part that goes with that is don't use a lot of flowery language, a lot of adjectives. I'm Christina. I'm amazing. I have this great business. Uh, you need to hear about it. It's just wonderful. You know, like that. no newspaper story is written like that. Um, you really want to keep it like direct and factual. You want to have facts in your press release. And you don't want to be too promotional. Um, okay, obviously you're using this as a promotional document. You want um, publicity, you want brand awareness, you want um, increased sales, whatever it is that you want. Um, you are using this as a promotional document. And, and news directors and reporters know this, but you don't want to like shove it in their face. Right, so don't you know go on and on about how great it is of what you're doing and how wonderful and it's a big sale and like, and you need more. You need more of a news element to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> 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 you <keep your> <laughs> I think that um, another important thing to keep in mind with um, <laughs> what does it say? Bury the lead. Don't bury yeah. the lead. Sorry, catchy um, title. Don't bury the lead. Don't over promote yourself. We know you're promoting. Don't over, yeah, don't over promote yourself. Yes. And it's, you know, again, it's like a, more like a news story, not a marketing piece. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important to keep in mind. Um, and I do, um, I per people will say, you know, um, take as long as it takes to tell the story. But I personally <laughs> don't, do that. don't like <laughs> no. I don't like that. Like, no. I don't have all that time. And no. I think most of us don't read an entire news article. We don't read an entire blog. Most people do not read an entire press release. So if it is four pages long, chances no. are people are not going to get through all of it. I say like one to two pages. Um, and you really want to end, and here's your chance to talk about you and your company with um, information about you. And it's called the boilerplate, and that's sort of the standard, um, you know, who, what, what the company does, who's involved, where it's located, that kind of thing. You want to end with that, and most importantly, end with contact information, and not just you know, switchboard phone number, but the uh, specific person they can talk to, they can call, they can email if they want to follow up, if they want to ask more questions, and they want to set up an interview, for example. So that's really important to have too. And that's called the, the boilerplate. The boilerplate is the information about your company, and then you want to have your specific contact information um, down below. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that's it. You're ready. <laughs> I love it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> that's awesome. Easy, what easy. That? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I think if I was ever going to write a press release, I would definitely need your help. So do you have any more tips for okay. us today? You want to share anything else? Uh, I, think, I think for you know what you write, whether it's a press release or um, you know online content, and you know this, um, writing emails, whatever, it's so important, and I can't say it enough. And I, I make these mistakes as well, but proofread, <laughs> proofread, and proofread again because nothing then, looks less professional, yeah, right, than yeah, than a mistake. And we all as well if it's really important, like a third exactly. Time. And I like. And if I don't have anyone to do it, I um, I read it out loud to myself. Um, I often will write something. I will walk away and come back and read it again mm -hmm. um, because we've all been there and we, we hit the send button. <laughs> and that's the minute you realize, oh, I made a mistake and you feel so stupid. So you really don't want that. Um, you know, I think journalists are sticklers for fact and grammar and spelling and that kind of thing. So um, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot by not proofreading properly. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Christina. Your tips are amazing. Let's recap them again from the top. Okay. Number one, have a good story. Most important. Uh, you want to open with an eye-catching headline, or also known as the title. You want to write it, number three, like a news story. So we talked about what that looks like, and you know you have a lot of um, examples everywhere around you if you want more help with that. Don't bury the lead, number four, also very important. Number five, avoid sounding overly pro um, promotional. And um, number six, you want to end with your boilerplate and your contact information so that people get that information about who you are, what you do, and how to contact you. 
Absolutely. I love it. Christina, thank you. If people want to work with you, what is the best way to reach you? Um, what is your contact information? Um, tell us what, uh, what you're up to these days and, and uh, how you can help people get the word out for their business. Um, so one of the best ways to reach me is through ChristinaMatisic.com. Um, I have my own company, Christina Matisic Creative, and I'm all about helping people tell their stories. You know, whether it's an individual or a company, um, whether you're looking at PR or social media, which I think is such an important part of the PR um, machine and messaging today. And uh, content marketing is something that I is obviously extremely popular these days and very effective. And so I work pe with people um, developing content, whether it's written, whether it's video content, to help um, get their you know messaging out, no matter what kind of business they're in. So that's the um, sort of thing I'm focusing on. Um, and I also work a lot with my um, cliche pet project <laughs> is um, I do a lot of work with the SPCA, um, which is um, a charity very close to my heart and I, you know, added animal lover my whole life and I do um, a lot of work with them, um, a lot of volunteer work and I've done some video uh, production work for them. So that's a really satisfying uh, part of my business. Absolutely. And you are definitely a woman making a difference, Christina Matisic. Thank you so much for joining us today. And yeah. um, to everyone listening, I just want to say that um, it's really important to surround yourself with individuals. Um, I call them the believers, the doers, the action takers, sometimes people who see the greatness in you even when you don't see it yourself. And that's one of the reasons that I created the, um, the Ladies Who Lunch Network. And um, like I said, hang out with people that have achieved what it is that you want to achieve, um, a network of like-minded individuals. So uh, as I always like to say, my favorite expression is you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And uh, I absolutely love hanging out with the ladies in the network. Uh, they support me, they inspire me, they encourage me, and together we help each other uh, achieve our dreams. So thank you everyone for hanging out with us today. Uh, be sure to Tune in again for another episode of HangoutWithMaria.com. In the meantime, if you are interested in becoming a member of the Ladies Who Lunch Network, uh, please visit LadiesWhoLunchNetwork.com. Christina Matisic, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you today, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.